So this here is the all new 2022 Super 73 Z Miami. It's the latest entry level electric bike from Super 73 that packs some serious power and performance in a gorgeous minimalistic design that's both sleek and modern. The Z Miami is an electric bike that will no doubt turn some heads when you're riding by. Thanks to Super 73, I had an awesome opportunity to spend about the past two weeks with the new Z Miami and this was actually my first time ever riding a Super 73 bike. I've always heard good things about these bikes but I never actually got to try one until until now. After this trial run, I have to tell you guys that I am sold on picking one of these things up for myself one of these days. It's gonna happen. The color that I have here is called prickly pink, but it's a bit more on the red side of things and it looks really nice. We'll go over specs in a bit, but if there's a key takeaway from this video, if I had to sum up my thoughts and review in one sentence, I would say the Z Miami is a sleek e-bike that looks as good as it rides. If this is only the entry level model in Super 73's lineup, I cannot imagine what the higher end models can do. They're probably insane. As you would expect when you first get this bike in the mail, the box is big and heavy. It's about 90 something pounds. Since since this is a new 2022 model, it came with a super cool launch surprise in the box with a collector's coin and an awesome set of Super 73 pins. Another box on the inside included the charger, tools, and other accessories like reflectors to add onto the bike. The good news here is that the Z Miami mostly comes fully assembled, so there's not much that you need to do to set it up. You just need to screw on the pedals, tighten on the handlebar, charge the battery, and you're ready to get out there and ride. As far as specs go, the Z Miami features a max speed of 20 miles per hour thanks to a zippy 750 watt motor around back. There's a a removable 615 watt hour battery underneath the seat, a small yet easy to use multifunction display on the handlebar, a comfy and spacious 28 inch seat, up to 35 miles of range on pure electric and around 50 miles with pedal assist. And of course that all comes together in a gorgeous design. The bike is also pretty lightweight and isn't too big. So I don't see it being a problem fitting inside larger sized cars, even though it doesn't fold up. Overall, you get a pretty solid set of features here. There are a few basic things though that I think should have been included like a headlight, a tail light, and maybe even an electric horn. They are available as separate add-on purchases, but I think they should have been included in the box here. When it comes to riding, the Z Miami is incredibly comfortable. This thing rides like a dream. It's a bike that sits pretty low to the ground, so it may feel different at first, especially when you compare it to a regular bike. It gives this bike though a sporty motorcycle-like feeling. I was not used to that feeling at first, but I adjusted to it rather quickly, and I found myself really liking it. That 28-inch seat plays a big role in that too, because it's super soft and spacious. Pair that with the handlebars being the perfect height and those huge tires in the front and the rear and you get yourself one of the smoothest riding e-bikes out there. Even though the max speed is 20 miles per hour here, it feels like you're going much faster when you're out there riding for some reason. Maybe it's because of the big tires, maybe it's because of the zippy motor. I don't know what it is, but it does feel like you're going faster than 20 miles per hour here. The Z Miami is an expensive bike, but it's one of those bikes that you look forward to hopping on and riding. It's just a ton of fun. As far as battery life goes, the range that you'll get out of that removable 615 watt hour battery on this bike is 35 miles on pure electric and up to 50 miles with pedal assist. The remaining range is listed on that little multifunction display and I found that to be quite accurate. On other e-bikes, you know, the battery meter often fluctuates under heavy loads, but that doesn't seem to be the case here when you hit the throttle and push it. It drops at a steady pace. From just casual riding around, I found the battery life to be quite solid. I also love the fact that the battery is fairly small and removable from the frame, so you can easily take it off and charge it. Super 73 also offers a smartphone app for iOS and Android that pairs with their bikes via Bluetooth to keep track of mileage, range, offers turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and all of that. I wasn't able to test this out on the loaner bike here, but judging by how well everything is presented from the packaging to the bike itself, I think the app is going to work pretty well. At the end of the day, the Z Miami is an awesome e-bike that, as I mentioned before, I see myself buying one day. It's just plain fun to ride. I've always heard good things about Super 73 bikes, and the Z Miami proved to me that everything I've been hearing is true. Do not let that term entry level fool you here. This thing is packed with power, incredible performance, it's comfortable to ride, and it's got a beautiful minimal design on top of it all that's both striking and head turning. I think that's my favorite thing about this bike. It's very lightweight, it's portable, and it just looks sweet. The only downside that I do see with it is that it's expensive, but if this is going to be your main source of transportation, it is well worth the investment both in power and reliability. As I mentioned earlier in this video, if this is 
only the entry level model in Super 73's lineup, I cannot imagine what the higher end models are capable of. The Z Miami gets two thumbs up for me. Before we close this video out, I just have to send a huge thank you once again to my friends over at Super 73 for this amazing opportunity to borrow the e-bike, test it out, and share it with all of you guys. I knew this was something that you all would enjoy seeing, so I was ecstatic when the stars aligned to make this happen. I'm also glad that I finally got to test out a Super 73 bike. That in itself is very exciting to me. I had a ton of fun with all this, and I can't wait for the day where I get to buy one of these bikes for myself. That day will come eventually. Anywho, that's about it for this video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow at Ray Strasses on Twitter and Instagram for much more. Until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Peace!